Hey there, and today we're going to compare two types of VR headsets, tethered and standalone. Tethered VR headsets are connected to a computer or console with a cable and offer high resolution displays often and very advanced features. Examples of VR headsets that are tethered include the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, the PlayStation VR, and the Valve Index. Now, standalone VR headsets, on the other hand, have their processors, sensors, storage, all built into a single device that doesn't need a separate device to run. Examples of standalone VR headsets include the Oculus Quest, the Oculus Go, the Lenovo Mirage Solo, and the Pico Neo 4 these days. These VR headsets are portable and easy to use as they don't require cables or wires. They also offer a wide range of content and apps, so you can choose from various VR experiences and activities. However, standalone VR headsets usually have lower resolution displays and fewer features than tethered VR headsets. So what are the pros and cons of tethered VR headsets? Well, let's take a look. Putting it all together, high resolution and advanced features go with tethered VR headsets, and they can offer high resolution displays, advanced features to offer more immersive experiences, like some have full body tracking available, and they use motion tracking and haptic feedback to provide those engaging experiences. The PlayStation VR is supposed to have one of the most realistic uh, haptic feedbacks in its hardware. Now, tethered VR headsets are just as powerful as any computer connected to it, but those tend to be fairly good, which means that they can handle more complex and demanding VR experiences. Now comes the cons of those tethered VR headsets. They can be still quite expensive, and requiring a separate computer or console, that means even more expense. Tethered VR headsets can also be kind of heavy and bulky, not very comfortable. Now let's examine some of the pros and cons of standalone VR headsets. Standalone VR headsets offer unparalleled convenience. Standalone VR headsets are portable, easy to use, and they don't require a separate computer or console to run. Also, if their software allows, they can still become tethered headsets, or at least wirelessly tethered headsets to a PC, which can allow for an extra boost in performance. You can take them anywhere, use them anytime, without the need for cables or wires. Now, they are also quite affordable. Standalone VR headsets are cheaper than tethered headsets as they don't require a separate computer or console to run. They are also easier to set up and maintain. And now comes the major cons of standalone VR headsets. Lower resolution and fewer features, standalone VR headsets usually have both of those, which means that they do not provide the same level of immersion and interactivity. They also may not be able to handle as complex or demanding VR experiences as tethered VR headsets. Now, that means that they also have limited hardware. Standalone VR headsets have their processor sensors and storage, but they are still limited by the hardware built into that headset. There's no way you can upgrade that hardware like you could upgrade your computer. So which one is the best VR headset for you? Well, this depends on your needs and preferences. If you want a high resolution, feature rich VR experience, a tethered VR headset may be your best choice. However, a standalone VR headset may be a better option if you want to have a more convenient and affordable VR headset. In conclusion, tethered and standalone VR headsets offer pros and cons, and it's up to you to decide which one suits your needs and preferences. I tend to think that standalone VR headsets are the future and the better choice. Even with their lower resolution and fewer features, VR headsets are an exciting and innovative technology that has the potential to revolutionize the way we experience and interact the world around us. So if you're interested in trying out VR for yourself, many VR headsets are available. Make sure to do your research and consider your own budget and requirements before deciding. If you found this video helpful, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos on virtual reality and other topics. And also let me know in the comments which VR headset you prefer, tethered or standalone.